Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. Um, so, training this week um, has been good, uh, very good, uh, except for Monday. Uh, when, so Monday, uh, the beginning of the week, um, I do a time swim. So I get in the water for an hour and a half, two hours, or whatever it is that, that Coach and I have agreed. And I just swim, um, I keep to my pace. So my pace at the moment is 64 strokes a minute. Keep to my pace, do the time, get out, get showered, go home, enjoy the rest of my day. Um, and then obviously then the next day whenever I'm swimming after that. But this week, um, and I'm going to confess now I do it every week, um, I looked at my pace and my pace this week for no reason at all was way off the, the pace that it had been last week, the week before, and the week before that. And so I wrapped my brain to think what it could be. I mean, I'd not been ill, I haven't been ill since. Um, I'm eating well, I'm sleeping well. Um, I wasn't hungover or anything. So I don't know why I was really slow. It's just for no reason at all. And yet, despite all the rest of the swims of the week been really good, everything's been on pace, everything's been great, I'm still banging on about the bad swim that I had on Monday. Um, I sent it over to Coach um, for some feedback and told him that I was really gutted. And he, he brought back all the positives from it. Um, and I agree with every single one, but yeah, all I could think about was that pace and, and then the distance then, obviously, that I'd swum was not what I'd hoped it would be. And it's interesting that, like I said, on, so on Tuesday I swam, I did a good swim, um, a CSS swimmer kept the beeper, kept pace. Wednesday I had squads, kept pace, it was all, all fine. Um, this morning I did, oh my god, this morning. So this morning I did um, 16 lots of 100 metres and coach set me a new CSS time and then told me to take that CSS time and knock so many, so many bits of a second off it so that I'd be faster than that. And then I was allowed 30 seconds rest between each 100 metres that I did. Oh my goodness. I could feel my heart in my head. It was so loud. And then by the time the 30 seconds was up, I could still feel my heart in my head. But I had to keep going anyway, so literally it's now half past three nearly, and I'm really just recovering from, from, uh, from this morning's swim. It was absolutely brutal, but that's the plan, that's what I've got to do. And yet, like I said, it's like now, you know, it's now Friday, and I'm still a bit bitter about Monday's swim. And in my mind, I'm thinking, I'm not meant to swim this weekend, I'm meant to do, um, it's meant to go in the gym, but I feel, I keep thinking in the back of my mind, thinking, should I just go back and do another one, just because it'll just make me feel better. And it was only today then that my, my friend Karen rang me and she said that her understanding of Monday swim was, was that I set the clock only to say I've done that time and then get out, get showered, go home and enjoy the swim. And that is her understanding of it and that's what I've told her. So she couldn't understand why I was so um, moody, I think, about, about Monday swim. She said, I, I just don't understand, you've done what you set out to do and what, what you agreed with coach that you would do, and yet you were not happy with it. And then I obviously confessed to her that I looked at my pace and, and, and that's what it was. And then she, she just asked me if I'd changed the Gold Coast for it, which I haven't. Well, I sort of, maybe I have, but I don't want to, I don't want to change my Gold Coast, but I've, I've looked and, and I just shouldn't look because it's literally ruined the whole week for me. In terms of no matter, it's funny, isn't it? It's like I've done three other swims since then and that's the one swim that I just can't get over. I just keep focusing on that one bad bit and it's really bad because everything else has been great and on track. So I think maybe as well it's that I don't, I won't get an opportunity to swim like that again until Monday to almost right that wrong. So basically I think I need to just get over myself and stop worrying about it. It happened for whatever reason and I'm sure it's a blip and that on Monday when I get back in again it'll be absolutely fine again. Um, if it's not, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> I say I'm not gonna check but I will. Um, so. Yeah, I've been in a bit of a bad mood all week, on and off, um, until today. When so so today's swim was was great. It was really really good. Uh, and despite literally um, thinking I was on my last legs at one point, thinking I was just gonna <laughs> collapse, it was so brutal. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was really good to sort of be that out of breath with it, really. And so I got home from swimming, and this was on my doorstep. Now this <laughs> this arrived from my friend Joe. Now I saw Joe earlier in the week, and. Um, 
basically she asked me how the swimming was going and again I just told her about Monday swim I, I negated to tell her the whole week about how well it's been going I just told her about Monday swim so after chewing her ear off for a short while I think I think I don't know whether she felt sorry for me or she was just glad to get rid of me these are out of my doorstep um, as, a, as, a, as a little a little gift which is really really lovely so I've now got these and all those chocolate oranges still that I've hidden so my children can't eat them and um, so I'm, I'm literally gathering chocolate and orange um, I've made none of them no, no more of those protein balls by the way you'd be glad to hear and so I've got those as well, but actually there's uh, 40 Jaffa cakes in that, I'm just reading there. So actually they'll go towards my um, my training, poolside training, because obviously even though I already know that they're alright in the water, provided you don't get them wet, I'm also going to have to do a trial with them to make sure that they are still alright for sort of wind in it, to make sure that um, I can still tolerate them. That's what I'm saying anyway. Now, the other thing that arrived today um, is this. Um, it's a gift um, from um, Helen and Mike uh, that they sent to me today. It's so lovely. I don't know if you're familiar with um, Nancy Farmer, but she's an open water swimmer and she's also an artist. If you're not, go onto her website and have a look. Her artwork is just lovely and I so wish I could draw like that. And anyway, this arrived and it's her getting into cold water calendar for 2019. And it's full of um, great images and pictures that she's drawn of people that she swims with and, and what have you. And um, so I thought about it, I thought, actually, what a great present, because I'll be able to, it's got those little boxes here um, that I can mark off if I've had a swim on that day or not, and maybe how I felt, or the pace I did, or whatever I was going to be doing. So that arrived as well, which was really, really lovely. So today's been a really nice day, actually, full of gifts, so I'm kind of quite, <laughs> quite liking Friday this week. And um, so, so that arrived as well, which was really, really lovely. Um, so today I've got over Monday more or less, because I still think, I'm telling you this now, so it means I'm still really not quite over it. Um, but I need to make sure that I don't let those bad swims, um, even if they're just one, get in the way of all the progress and thinking back and thinking, I got in the water, I did a swim, um, it wasn't kind of what I maybe, maybe hoped it would be. However, I still got in and I still swam and everything else since has been great. Um, so I need to not allow that one little thing to, to mar all the progress and all the great things that I've been doing up until then. It's quite difficult to do, I think, but I think remembering why I'm doing it in the first place and, and seeing how far I've come already has to sort of supersede that feeling of being disappointed. Um, so hopefully, by next week's vlog, I'll have had a great summer Monday and I'll be, I'll be reporting great news to you. So hopefully, anyway, have a good week. Bye.